I'm back with another plan with me and this is for the week of October 30th through November 5th. So we are ending our spooky season with one last spooky themed kit and then we are into November and into our harvest type themed kits. So I'm very excited about this one. I saved my favorite one for last. This kit is called Foolish Mortals. It's Haunted Mansion themed. You guys know the only thing I love more than spooky themed things is Disney themed things. So a spooky Disney theme? Yes. Yes, please. More of that. This is from Beautiful Planning. I don't know what's going on with her shop right now, to be honest, because there's two different ways to get there. It's either beautifulplanning.com or shop.beautifulplanning.com. Dot com, I think. Either way, I have them linked in the description box below. Um, but in the last week, she sent out an email, like a newsletter, saying, hey, the shop's open, click here to access the shop. And when I clicked, it didn't work. And I let her know, hey, the link's not working. And she replied a couple days later, like a mass email saying, hey guys, a lot of you said this wasn't working. I fixed it, just use this link instead from now on. So the other one, the one, you know, one of the two that I mentioned, Use this one from now on, but the shop is open. So I used the second link and that one didn't work for me either. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's because I was on mobile, but if you're able to get the link to work for you, I do have it linked down below and I have a code for you guys, MamaFriendly15, and that'll get you 15% off everything in the shop. She does have some new stuff out. She's been working on Christmas kits. So there are things up there that I've never even seen before. And like I said, hopefully by the time you're watching this video, the website is up and running properly again. So, this is the kit I'm using. I have used this kit in the past. I love it. <laughs> I had uh, a little attempt here at some Halloween decorating. I never claimed to be an artist, but <laughs> that's supposed to be a ghost, that's supposed to be a bat, and that's supposed to be a pumpkin. So hopefully you got that without me having to explain. But in case you didn't, now you know what I, what did, what I tried to do there. So we've got our weekend banner, we've got our full boxes, we have our bottom washing down here, and of course my half boxes. And now on our second sheet we have our deco, we've got numbers for our day covers. I went ahead and I put the numbers down already because I was procrastinating on something else that I did not want to do, so I did this instead. Habit trackers, a long full box for my sidebar, our glitter headers, and then we've got our YouTube stickers here, which I've already filled in. We are going to have five videos this week. We only had three videos last week, so we're making up for it this week. Either way, it always averages out to more than three videos a week, which is what I always promise as like bare minimum. But five videos this week. These stickers are not part of the kit, but they are available in the shop, so if you want them for yourself, by all means. And I like to use these at the end to let you guys know when I'm posting what on my channel at any given time, any given day. So if something in particular sounds fun to you, you know when to return for it. So as usual, I'm going to start with my bottom washi, and you can tell that I cropped this kit a while back because I do have the two separate pieces here for the bottom washi. Whenever I've been using the crop method lately, I've been just doing the one long strip C and this doesn't even fit. Ay ay ay. Yeah. This does not fit. And this is why I use the crop method because if I had done it this time around, I could have tweaked the measurements here and made sure that this was gonna fit across the entire page. Now, it's not fitting across the whole page. I have this huge gap here, and that sucks. There's nothing I can do about it, but it is what it is. We will live. No big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down right there. See, that fits. So what I've been doing lately is that I've been duplicating this sticker, basically, and just using it twice, and then everything fits and everything matches, but it's fine. No big deal, like I said. Weekend banner. And now we're going to move on to our sidebar. So, of course, that means our long full box right here. Which only further drives home the point that <laughs> there's a wide gap here because this sticker has nothing to rest on. But what are we going to do? It's fine. Really doesn't matter this week what order I put my habit trackers in because the date covers are all different colors anyway. So that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
too. I really like that shade of blue. Wonder what that shade's called. Three and four. It's more like a. It's not a cerulean at all because cerulean has more green to it. This is like a little bit of a gray to it. So it's like a slate blue maybe, but it's more blue than I would think a slate blue would be. I don't know. It's pretty though. I'm going to use this sticker right here that says Foolish Mortal on it as my anchor. Because I think that's just what makes sense. And so now that was fast. We're going to go ahead and move on to our date covers and our glitter headers. I'm going to set those all down and I'll meet you all back here in just a minute. Alrighty, so we've got this ready to go. I'm going to put down my full boxes next. I want to make sure to put this uh, Ghost Bride all the way on this end because we already have very similar art on the sidebar. So I want to give them a little bit of space. Everything else can kind of go wherever. I'm going to put, man, do I want Madame Leota for Halloween or do I want the tombstone no I'm gonna put master no you know what I'm gonna put Madame Leota on Halloween and I'm gonna put Master Gracie's tombstone on the first because since it's Dia de los Muertos that just kind of feels like it makes sense to me I kind of oh kiddos cracking up outside kind of put this down a little bit crooked so it folded into itself but I was able to fix it so that's good so we'll put yeah Master Gracie can go up here perfect and then everything else can just oh my goodness everything else can kind of just go wherever so we'll do that and we'll do I'm gonna make sure to put one down here because there's printing on the page that I want to cover up and then some books and some flowers. We'll put more, eh, no, we'll put this one here in the middle. And then we can put this one up top here. Otherwise, these two would have been next to each other and no thanks. I'm gonna put my Halloween sticker, my very, very spooky sticker, right there. And there's no birthdays this week actually, which is kind of cray because in November we've got tons and tons of birthdays but none in this first week so last thing I've got to do right now is put down my YouTube stickers and so for today you're getting this planner video that you're watching right now tomorrow you're going to get a vlog that I recorded over this past weekend so that's happening on Tuesday there will not be a new video on Wednesday on Thursday, we're gonna do another vlog. I typically release my vlogs on Tuesdays and Fridays, but this vlog I'm gonna record over this first half of the week. I'm gonna scramble to edit it on Wednesday so that it comes out for you guys on Thursday because we're gonna have our monthly Foodie Friday collab on Friday. And I'm going to be sharing a Disney recipe? Yes, I'm sharing a Disney recipe on Friday, Disney Parks recipe, it's actually going to be a recipe for spoon bread. So it's kind of like a moister, yummier cornbread, if you will. And the recipe that I'm using is the same one that they use at the Brown Derby restaurant at Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World. And this was so simple, so fast, 
in, like almost insultingly delicious. It's crazy how good this was. <laughs> and um, yeah, I thought that that would be a great recipe to put out since we're going into Thanksgiving now. So if you're planning your menu, you're not sure what you're gonna make this year, or you just wanna add something a little special and really, really simple, then you've got something right there for you on Friday. I won't be putting out a video on Saturday, but there's another collab on Sunday. And this video is actually a Thanksgiving dish collab. So specifically, we're doing Thanksgiving recipes that day. And for that recipe, for that video, I'm showing you guys how to make pumpkin tres leches cake. So tres leches is a traditional Hispanic cake. It's a vanilla sponge cake usually. And tres leches literally means three milks. So what you do is that you make the cake you mix together regular milk, condensed milk, and evaporated milk. You make like a syrup out of it and it goes over the entire cake. The cake soaks it up and becomes really spongy and moist and incredible. And then you cover the whole thing with whipped cream or meringue, depending on where you're from. My version is not only allergy friendly. Yes, I managed to make tres leches cake, dairy free and gluten free, but also it's pumpkin <laughs> so great for the holidays so 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 yummy everybody that tried it in my family loved it whether they eat gluten and dairy free or not it was just really 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 tasty and yeah so that's coming out sunday you got another recipe friday vlogs and planner videos galore halloween tomorrow very exciting stuff let me know what you're planning to do for halloween if you celebrate let me know what you're looking forward to in november besides thanksgiving or including thanksgiving whatever it's a great thing it's family fun and holidays and everything totally understand why you'd look forward to it i am definitely looking forward to it so let me know what's going on with you guys and as always, I want to thank you all so much for being here and watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!